Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I was just wondering about the the goals because it's it's the only thing that is not concise and the only thing where people actually have a choice of what to write, kind of right. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have this building list. But what happens if we have a building list of like 200, 300 things? It's going to be too much. I'm just wondering, do you have it focalized within the the room of the right? Because let's say it's evolution room or spirituality room or PG whatever. Yeah, is it that I think that goal should be specific to that room, right? Right. So it is. Um, it's not all the goals for all the rooms building. There's specific goals. Yeah, I guess we. I haven't built that into this interface quite yet. Uh, like which chat room or et cetera, the chat area they're they're using. Um, I guess we could do it easily then by instead of first typing in or selecting the mission step objective, if you first select evolution or one of the other chat areas, yeah, and it list yeah. of the already ones, or you can type a new one in there. Yeah, that makes That's sense. Right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, then that would have it specific. Yeah. Is that hard? Um, no, no. Okay. Uh, let me see. So. No, yeah, first they'd choose one of the, the the top bars, the five bars, and then they would choose evolution or one of the other subtopics. Unless they choose superhero teams, then they choose either all superhero teams, or if they choose one of the superhero teams, then again, they have to choose one of the 2.1 2, or 7.2 or whatever it's going to be uh, uh, media teams. And then after they choose that, then it would say then it would replace it or, or put in the mission step objective. Yeah. And then they type one in or select the one, one of the ones that's already there. Yeah. So the, the one on the left, and it makes sense. The one on the left would be the old growth and that might be at the very beginning. Or I guess where, I guess where it fits in nice because then you do the old, the old growth is going to be the, the, the one thing that is there for all of them, right? Yeah. All of the different, uh, Shared knowledge communities, everything is going to be all about the old growth force to begin with, right? And well, nothing else. Not all the shared knowledge communities, but I just mean like we're basically building a shared knowledge community for old growth. So each each of those the, the interfaces that are like the the main chat room that you created already, all of that is like old growth. And then what I was asking, we need another uh, administrator control level to create those. To create, I, I think you got it when you were writing it earlier. But just like that whole room, that whole program right there is under old growth forest, and then we're going to have multiple issues, right? We're going to have another control oh, yeah. that is choosing those, right? So on when we're building these these chat rooms right now, it's all going to be the same old growth forest. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. So when eventually we create another issue, there's going to be issue coalitions, shared knowledge communities, all of that, and all the media teams and everything for another issue. Exactly. Yeah, that's not that's not a big deal. That's just a matter of um, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, and that and that's what we we're talking about just in the chat around having a, a control interface at a higher level administration where we can assign facilitators and uh, yeah. create those right. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to put that together later on. I would yeah. imagine. We'll we'll figure everything out for this old for this particular with the old growth issue, and then we'll work out all the details, kind of like because we got to test it and figure out what actually works and what doesn't. And then once we've got that refined, then we can just repeat the whole process for the other issues. Right. Yeah, that sounds good. I just wanted to make that clear. 
Um, anything else? And so you're going to create a hover button that makes it easier to see those smaller buttons? Yeah, yeah, for the, the six and the five circles. Yeah. Yeah. I, re I really like the hundred you did, I, and I like the little uh, screen that pops up that gives you the big picture. Then, then the, like, I really like the uh, design element that you're adding there. It looks really nice, looks sharp. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Theme like, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. Um, how are we yeah, doing? I guess how are we doing on timing for the prototype? Uh, well, I guess if the value lenses and conversation lenses look good there, the way they're you can select yeah. them and stuff, I think it's working. Yeah. Uh, then I'll just do the conceptual lenses. And then after the conceptual lenses are done, all that's chosen and stuff. Um, yeah, I think the last thing to do is just they put in an estimate of time, I suppose. Yeah. And and then at that point, they can either get the embed code, they can create the chat room, et cetera. I think that's the next step. Yeah. Um, so for the conceptual lens, I got a couple of little questions. Um, First, they select one of the four things, right? Choice, flow, lens, or choice, flow, harmony, or synergy. Yeah. And then, so choice lens, there's quite a few. They're all the same color, but the other three, there's different color breakdowns that I can't, I'm not sure why that is or what, what I'm doing well, with that. They're all positioned in the inflow differently according to the color. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not going to make a, a difference from, from here, this end. But sure. it, it does have positional and time cycle qualities that later on people will know, but from this particular thing, it doesn't matter. Okay. So if they choose a uh, random for conceptual lens, it's going to give them a choice between all of them, all yeah. four categories, just picks. Okay. Yeah. And then if they choose one or if they hit choose, they choose one of the four and then it's, I guess it's going to give them another yeah. uh, grid of the ones I can choose from similar to conversation. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Is it better, do you think, to have them in the grids there in alphabetical order or by color? Because alphabetical, the colors keep changing. Right. Um, I mean, it would be nice to have a circle pop up and actually have the words on a circle. Um, that would probably be too much of a hassle, right? Uh, what do you mean? Well, if you, if you Pick synergy. What would it would be nice would be old paradigm, new paradigm, and then to have an actual the circle with the words on it, and then you pick a word. But that I think that may be too much for for your end. Um, actually, I'm still not sure what you mean. I guess. Uh, okay, like, well, on the the, cho the choice, the choice is a. Uh, So the, the, wor the words actually fit right on this map. Okay. So if we had, if we had the actual, like the best case scenario would be um, when they choose synergy, this would come up and then the synergy lens would be on it. And then actually choose. Synergy lens would be on it. Um, well, just like, just like adaptation. the the flow wheel and the synergy wheel and the harmony wheel all have are the same as this, right? But they they're just at different levels of conceptual design. So the harmonies at the community level, synergies at the organizational level, and the flows at the outer individual level, right? But they all fit. It's like science fits here on the harmony wheel. Research fits here on the organizational synergy wheel and field fits here on the flow wheel. So there's actually like there's four levels up Right There's, there's a choice Map there's a flow map. There's a synergy map and there's a harmony map. There's actually two maps. There's an eight map and a nine map Now In this particular place I'm just thinking, um, 
just wondering if we need to do that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking not. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing probably not at this point because I'm just thinking down, down the road, I might want to change that because it actually is the actual interface that we're bringing in. Um, but it doesn't really matter in terms of the chat rooms. Um, how much more hassle would that be? Um, well, so, okay, so you have that, that uh, geometric design there with the nine spots. And then what goes in those nine spots? Well, the words, like, like on the Synergy wheel, like research is at 3.1. Research. Here, let me let me share. Something. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm not sure if you have seen the synergy wheel, etc. And are we talking just conceptual cards, or is this something else? No. Well, this is, this is like the main one of the main things of the whole idea. Okay, you see that? So, uh, yeah. if we pick, like you're picking the four things, you pick the choice, the flow, the synergy, and the harmony, essentially this is what comes up. If, if, if we actually have those somewhere, shit. Um, anyway, you see what I mean? Uh, let me just absorb this for a second. Um, so those nine things around there, those are the... Those are the Synergy lenses. Okay, but from my perspective, they are the discussion choices, right? The, the discussion groups? They, they are also the discussion choices, but they're also the Synergy lenses because they're the same thing. The, okay. converse, the conversation cards, right, are each of those, and then they go into another level of eight of those, right? Yeah. So... When we go into the conceptual lenses, we have the choice, the flow, the synergy, and the harmony. And again, the synergy is there. So I mean, there, there's, there's just you know, there's um, what do you call it, recursive loops or something? Or I mean, there's just using the maps in different places for different things, right? But you understand what I mean? That if if we press, let's say, that synergy in terms of choice, you're going to create a grid but this is actually more accurate about what it is. So, so if, if they press research here, click, then that would be the research lens and they would have an, a better understanding of the context of what they're kind of dealing with, but it may be, it may be too much maybe at, at this stage. Um, so this would be when they just, they pick the conversation lens. No, th this would be, well, it could be the conversational lens too. Um, I'm just wondering if this would be too complicated for people. Like the, um, you, you understand what I'm putting forward here? Instead of the grid, you would have circles. Right, where these where the lenses would be on the circles, because this is the actual place within the real interface. What do you think? Hmm. Um, I'm thinking actually no. Uh, I think that we we need this, but maybe for the the facilitators setting up the chat room, it's not necessary. But then after they've set it up and all these ones are running, maybe the facilitators and administrators, etc., could view what's going on on those those charts basically so they could you know they could uh you know navigate through the different things that are already occurring within and it would show them it on that basis 
okay. so that it would automatically organize them like that, but they wouldn't need to understand that to, in order to set up the chat rooms, et cetera. Right. And I think that maybe if at the beginning, depending on how much training they're getting, because I mean, essentially what I'm doing on the training for the media teams, I am taking them through these, these maps to create value systems for them. Um, but if we were going to use these chat rooms without training, which might be very useful too, it's best to keep, I guess, as simple as possible. I would think. Okay, yeah, well, let's, let's just keep it the way we got it. Um, okay. So the next thing on is the timer, and then, then you've got to make the end result, right? Like there's got to be the press the button. Are you going to put that at the bottom, the next, the bottom bar beneath that in terms of create the chat room, ar archive the configuration, that, that bar? Is that the next thing after this? Uh, I believe so. Let me just double check the, the design here. So what else do we have left? Those lenses. <clears throat> so yeah, time estimate, uh, if that's needed or not really. Yeah, time uh, estimate. So that's more like a time limit is what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's a, it's a suggested time limit or something. Yeah, suggested time limit. Okay. And then at that point, uh, I think everything else, yeah, they've chosen everything else at that point. So yeah, the next part would be the save, load, share, uh, create chat mission or embed code. Yeah. And yeah, I'll probably just put it at the bottom, like move, move the whole interface up with slightly and put it at the bottom after they've done all that stuff. Yeah. Just so it fits in here. Yeah. And when, when do you, okay, then the chat, when you've done that, then you press create chat room, then it goes into the actual chat room created, right? Yeah, the chat room. Well, okay, so uh, so they can, as soon as they're done picking all this stuff, they can save the chat configuration. Um, if they, I guess if they wanted to, at that point, they could load a different configuration uh, or they could share the configuration uh, but obviously, I guess the embed code doesn't show up until they create the chat mission. Otherwise, there's nothing to embed. Right, right. So, so kind of once, because the big steps. thing is going to be, um, I guess we're going to have two places. Like it's going to, it's going to create the chat room in the first thing that you created, right? As as one place, and then. From there, we can embed it in websites, right? Yeah. There's got to be some way to, to take that and embed it. Yeah, so I guess what that would mean, I'm thinking, is that, yeah, if you embed, uh, say, one specific chat room uh, in the evolution section or something like that on a website, then when someone goes to that website, that page, they can jump into the, that particular chat room. They don't have the all the bars at the top or anything to yeah. switch chat rooms or anything like that. Going straight into that one. Yeah, I think that's easy enough. Then that makes sense. Yeah. And then somewhere, I guess, uh, I would assume somewhere, we're going to want to be able to embed the whole system. Yeah. Because that's that's another thing, I guess. So people could switch between chat rooms or potentially have more than one open or something. Yeah, well, I think we would have like the facilitators version, which we're creating right now, and then we would have the users version, which would be okay. them getting set up, right, with some of them active and, and some of them not, right? And then as we activate the chat rooms, it becomes more and more active. And then people can switch between viewing. They can't, let's say, maybe participate in them, but they can view them. Hmm. Yeah. So there's got to be a place somewhere in here. We have to have invite users, right? We got to have some place to invite them in. And I think that. Well, uh, if, Cause if you embed it on a page, then anyone going to that page can log in or are we restricting it? Um, to, to like, it gives you a login when you click on 
I think we would have to have two types. We would have to have one that they have to log in and two that anyone can can be in there. So yeah, public or private chat rooms. Yeah. So maybe after they have to have a toggle switch of being able to denote to know, is it public or private? Okay. So yeah, maybe just before or when they click chat or create chat mission, it asks them whether it's private or public, whether yeah. And then it'll save it as that. And in both of those we have the ability to invite people in, right? Right. So yeah, and I would assume like anyone actually chatting can invite more people if they want to, as long as it's and regardless, and if it's if it's a private one and they invite people, then they the person just arrives at a login page and then they join. And if it's public, people can just jump straight in and start talking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But for the private ones, I think we have to have some way of you know they, that's kind of like the next step in the planetary guardians, and so we have to have sort of like levels of access. And so yeah. Here's your email, and so start to. Within the teams, we would have to have sort of lists of people that are available, that are able to go in, right? Yeah, yeah. So if it's public, anyone can join. If it's private, then perhaps they need to designate what level it is, and and then some other platform would designate who's in what levels, who has access to what levels, and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's part of us structuring that the game of the game. Like as you get higher levels, you're able to do more things and. Yep. Yeah. Get more access to functions. Yeah, and that's not too much trouble because I would imagine at least anyone on a high level automatically has access to all the lower level ones, including their level and yeah. so on. So, so if I, the person gains a level or however you want to look at it, yeah, then an access level, then they just automatically get access to all those chat rooms too and, and retain access to the ones below. Yeah. So this is cool, like, and I think that really ties in well with the, the gamification parts that you came up with. Yeah, uh, I can see how to modify that now too, a little bit. Okay. Okay, we good? Yeah, so I will finish the conceptual lens choice and random, and then set up those last steps for time estimate and save configuration, etc and public and private and i have to go back a little bit and create the um they pick the chat area first and then the mission objective and then the when they created the room then those other buttons get activated of the start yeah as soon as they click create chat mission the embed code becomes active and the chat itself becomes accessible from whoever Right, there's got to be like some timer within there no, that isn't that isn't just on when you met it it's like as soon as let's say the facilitator or whoever goes in first timer needs to start and there needs to be a timer that you can watch then when they finish the mission they click the stop button Right. Um, well, yeah, the other part, I, like, so be, besides this create chat room interface that I'm finishing up here, the next part would be just to, again, create the chat room. I'll have to change a couple things, but we have most of it already. Create an invite function, and then I guess, yeah, we just have to talk about, like, who has the ability to stop and start, or who has the ability to, to stop it, yeah. uh, and how that part will work. And, yeah, whether the timer starts immediately, or whether the facilitator or the same person who could stop it is sitting in there already and waits to enough people join and then hits the start button as well, maybe. Yeah, because that's going to be the fun part is the timer. Yeah, and I think that would be the best idea is that as soon as they create the chat mission, people can join. Um, and the facilitator or the administrator of that particular chat mission would obviously join in there. They'd be sitting there waiting waiting until Frank and John and, and Susie and enough people that to start go. And while those people are joining, they can just kind of chat generally to each other while it's waiting. Yeah. And then that, that mission and men would hit start and then the timer would actually start. Yeah. And it would either run out automatically or wait till they hit stop. Yeah. And at that point people need to more focus and et cetera. Yeah. Maybe we could do something too. So as soon as they hit the start button, 
you know, all the users notice that it started with the colors change maybe, or the timer obviously would display with the countdown. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, oh, okay, we're, we're working towards this goal now, et cetera. Yeah. And then I think when the time runs out, there needs to be a eh, mission, mission failure and they have to start over again. Right. And it counts as a mission failure in their, in their goals. So they don't get this, they don't get the points. Right. And the mission admin would control whether or not they failed or, or, or succeeded. Right. So they can stop it whenever they want, or the timer perhaps runs out and it stops. Yeah. I mean, if we have a timer and it runs out, it's going to have to stop it, but maybe they can complete their mission or fail their mission potentially before the timer runs out and that person can hit stop and say, no, nope, we're totally off track. We all just failed or, Hey, we just figured it out 10 minutes in done. And right. you know, that sort of thing. Right. And I guess there would need to be, then the, the chat is going to be saved as a text file that goes within, you know, the facilitators and all the members would have sort of have access. To, so the chat, you need to have a place where the chat then can be accessed, I guess, in a database. Yeah, like mission archives, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Because I And I think if, if that could be easily, like, copy um, print or say like save copy print or something and then have it so then each member could take it and then uh, paste it somewhere yeah I mean um, yeah I can have it save it as PDFs if we want or whatever yeah 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 that, definitely. that's the actual knowledge harvesting that, that uh, of the chat right um, yep. Okay, we, we good? Is that enough? Uh, yeah, no, it'll take me a bit to finish this interface now uh, with the changes there, and then I'll let you know uh, when the conceptual lens is done and the rest of the stuff we talked about here, and then, and then we can start the next step, I guess, there for sure. Okay. So Perfect. I'll get it to the point where the interface works, the buttons are clickable, and it, go, it goes to the finish just before they actually create the chat, and then I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, and we'll change the deadline. Why don't we change the deadline to uh, next Wednesday again? Okay, yep. Is that cool? Yeah, that uh, works for me, and then we can plan a meeting at, Wednesday. if you want, we can plan another meeting then or, or whatever. Yeah, Wednesday 12. Okay. 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 Have a All great right. time. That's good. Okay, great work now. All right, cheers.